I'm trying to make a some kind of pool, uh, like he, uh, like this one here. So it's a pool, but it could be like announcers or lights or um, just uh, electrical pool. I don't know. Make these things like real quick. I mean, just like sort of for, for the bashing. Anyway, I'm not gonna delete this default queue for now. I care about them for this, so you can watch me walking. Anyway, let's uh, nope, not that there. I'm gonna add a cube and let's just uh, oh, I, for I forgot to turn on my screencast keys, but if I turn it on, uh, I, I guess I don't have really to though. Um, wait, maybe I do have to. Guys, geez, there you go. There you go. And we have we have this right. Um, I'm gonna add it in our cube. Looking at that pictures. Well, I'm not gonna like um exactly copy these things. I'm only just gonna try to have a pictures uh, to put in my head because I don't I don't do a sketch well I sometimes I did but if it is now I guess I'm not gonna do it for now I guess I'm gonna try to make uh, some kind of letter so like it's possible people to to go there there's a tiny bit of the letter like this. <coughs> I guess I'm gonna make it more smaller. Yep. And then I'm just gonna array it using the Yep. Hmm, not bad. You should copy this a lot though. See, one of the things that makes this game extremely scary is the sound effects and just overall yeah. the atmosphere. Uh, the sound I can smell like that. And I'm just gonna have a control shift B and union. I'm just gonna want it to make it small. Alright, and maybe. Maybe one more up here. But rotate it like that. Don't want to copy more. But make this one more smaller. And yeah, that looks fine. So I'm going to control chief pool. Click the union again. That looking. Not that bad, right there. Not that bad. I'm gonna like um, it would be the, the power box, you know. So this one as well. I'm gonna try to just click these uh this face and separate that one. So you know, mm, this I'm gonna make it yep, like that. I forgot I should have applied scale at the beginning, but ah, never mind, it's okay. Mm, this one, apply scale first, and I'm gonna add a. I'm gonna try to do it in vanilla blender, okay? <coughs> add a solidify, even thickness, maybe, yeah, just a tiny bit like that. And also, I'm gonna add a bevel. Just a tiny bit. Sec just two seconds, okay. There's enough shading. I don't know what's back from isolation view. And I'm gonna select this one and select this one and control C and copy selected modifiers. Wait, um, the opposite. This one and this one. Control C, copy selected modifiers and I want to have the bevel one. <coughs> I just make things quicker, alright?
and select this one, select that one as well, and control C, and copy select it. Oh, uh, the opposite, I mean. Yep, exactly. Yep, it has blood on. I'm not gonna make that one tree. I guess I'm just gonna make this one as the, the light pool. Yes. Jack pool, light pool. Mm, I'm gonna rotate it for like 25. Mm, no, 25 it does a really do good job. I'm gonna make it small like that. And I like something like this. Maybe, maybe. I'm just gonna copy down like this. Copy more. I'm gonna try to go to the front view or the back view just to have a better look. Select all again. I guess three is enough. I don't want it to be um, insanely. I guess this one's actually still quite thick. I don't like it. I really like it this more like this. Oops, I just apply a scale and that happens. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna undo that and also I'm gonna array it again. Yeah, that just much better I think, much better I think. And this one for now I'm gonna array it as well. You know what? I forgot I should have used it uh, the blender blender. Sorry guys. And tree. Yeah, tree is enough. That's cool. Tree is enough. Make it here in the middle. Is it in the middle? No, that's not in the middle. Oh, this one is, is supposed to be in the middle now. Yep, exactly. From here, I'm only just gonna try to add a cube. Not a cube, a lot of cubes here. A lot of cubes. And then I'm gonna just um, go to front. Maybe select that one. Select this one. Go to front and make it like that. Yep. And scale it to make it on shift X. Ooh, it's it's distorted, so Ooh, what's wrong? It's distorted so I need to uh, fix that thing first. A little bit more. Exactly. It's good. Yeah, that's what you get that thing. I'm gonna edit mode and copy while in edit mode so I don't have to join them. And no, don't forget to put the orchid origin to geometry so it's gonna be back in the middle. And after this, I'm gonna try to array it. So I'm gonna add array. <coughs> Put that zero, it's on Z, so you know. Go to front and make it. It doesn't touch the, the crown, so I'm gonna make sure it touch just like that. And I'm gonna make it like that, and exactly good. I'm gonna add another modifier so. Duplicate this one, put them on with the Z, put the Y now. Yeah, perfect. Just a bit more, thank you. <coughs> so, from here, what I would do is add another cube. Well, this is just I'm playing, okay? I'm like, not making a proper pull light, so keep that in mind. Don't judge me, please. And I'm gonna make it like this. And then apply scale and also click this edge. And click that edge. And I want it to be beveled like that. Amazing. Amazing. Uh, I wanted to make it more. Yeah, that thing is good, I think. 
and I guess I'm gonna add another. Wait, I'm gonna copy this thing because it's actually look good to to put like some kind of grids here. Like I'm, you know, I'm gonna show you how, what is it, um, what I'm talking about here. So I'm gonna try to activate that face and also active. So whenever I control, I um I hit control, it's just gonna um you know it's just gonna snap to the to the to the thing. But this one, why it did, did not snap into the, the plane thingy, to the surface, because the origin is there, so make sure you set origin to geometry. Yeah, so after you put the origin, you can just uh, try to match, uh, put these things here. But you kind of like, because the origin kind of like in the middle, I mean you can, I mean I'm pretty sure you guys know how to do it, but I just prefer it this way. So I'm gonna go to just make some kind of, I don't know, duplicate these things and rotate 90. Make this one smaller. And control J and just copy these things. And put he maybe, or I'm gonna make it like that. Yep. I'm gonna make it smaller. So it's, it's not gonna be like. Recognizable, you know. And this one, maybe I'm gonna make it small like that. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm gonna copy uh, Control J, all of that one actually. And I'm gonna put it here. Put it here. Yeah, that looks just fine to me for now. And this, I guess I could put some cables into them. But for now, I actually want to... Can I bevel this edge? Yes, I can, so... I guess, I guess I'm gonna bevel that. Well, I guess not, I guess not. I'm just gonna make another power box down here. You know, there's gonna, there's gonna be a bunch of power box when it comes to, Because this is the electrical... The electric box, you know, because... Yeah, I know. And I'm just gonna make it here, I guess. But I'm gonna add another cube. Another cube, another cube. A lot of cubes here. A lot of cubes. And then. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Okay, good. Make it like that, and as well, I guess for, I guess I'm gonna duplicate more. Yep, like this. I guess I'm gonna mirror it, mirror on Y axis. So, mirror on Y global. It became like that, and I'm just gonna put this one up here. Right here, that looks good indeed. That looks good indeed, thank you. And let's add the cool cable. It seems like it's a scary part, like adding cable, but it's, so, it's actually so much fun. I'm actually really, really enjoying it. I usually mix my, when, when Cam's creating cable, I use the cable, but I need to turn off the screencast keys because it has the same keys. So if I just uh, cable raider, um, this one, my bad. Cable Raider like that. So if I just shift Alt C I guess yeah. Create cable and I just can oops, that's insane. I'm gonna do it again. He, uh, you don't have to select everything. Uh you don't have to select anything. I'm gonna create cable and put it like that. Isn't that just convenient? But I'm gonna try to they do it in vanilla blender it's actually not that hideous though it's still like um still pretty i'm i'm gonna delete this uh but this is right here this segment's there and i'm gonna go to front yeah like this and then yeah i'll just try to make a cable you know um this one i'm trying to make a cable that gonna go around uh you know to the bottom so 
this is making it like so random and after this I would like to duplicate it and then wait I forgot I need to uh, with the left view I guess yes left view or I'm just gonna edit it in this view um, because that's this is, this is gonna be the path people are gonna walk um, you're gonna go to the top right so of course you're not gonna try um, I guess I'm gonna add a segments here so I what is it where is it subdivide yeah so it's gonna be like extra vertices in the middle and I'm gonna make it like that yeah just random and make it like that and as well make it like that <coughs> and I'm gonna add more vertices here in the middle and I'm gonna make it like that. Wait, wait, wait. Yep. Yeah, it's alright. Like some some cables are gonna are gonna like intersect with the people. I think that thing like kind of look cool in there. That thing I'm gonna put put aside here and I'm gonna add subdivide again so this one's gonna be like in the middle so there you go you have one cable right but I'm gonna make more and how did I do it so I'm gonna duplicate this and let's see just, just move it here I'm just gonna move it here but I guess I'm gonna connect this dot into one of that Thing, you know, I don't know, and I'm gonna, yeah, just like that. I guess I'm gonna hold control and boom. And this one seems pretty big, it doesn't matter, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. And I'm gonna delete that vertices right there, and then, um, yeah, just make a slightly change. <clears throat> make a slightly change it's so much fun though it, it's like gonna look goddamn cool later and let's get let's add another uh, path you can use bezier bezier and uh, i really like path though and i'm gonna delete this vertices and just make it like that Okay, grab, make it like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I'm extra that uh, that thing actually, and as well duplicate it, and I'm just gonna make it like that. And I'm gonna control J, so. And I'm gonna duplicate it and just mirror it on Y. Oops, where did it go? Oh, there you go. Oh, I guess I could put that there. But um, what is it? A the origin there. So make sure that you put the origin into the geometry. So make it like that. Might as well duplicate it. And so uh, mirror again. Why? Move it like here. Maybe rotate it like that. Mm -hmm. And then um, control J and add it a bit if there's any intersect cables, but I guess not. So I'm just gonna quick add some depth in it. Here, tap. Just a tiny bit, you know. As well for this, tiny bit may maybe make it a bit different. And I'll, and of course, cable like gonna go around this thing gonna look more complicated. But I had to. I, I think I need to add more more of this one. So I'm just gonna duplicate that one, and I'm gonna scale it a bit and move it outside like this. 
It's got to lay it on the Y axis like that. Yep, exactly. Now if I get to the play scale, just have some variation. It's not going to be like a plain square rectangle like that. And I'm just going to add the geometry. Yeah, the cables here, so this one's gonna be quite, quite, you know, quite thick. This guy gonna be like quite thick. So from here, it's really looking good, isn't it? And I guess I want to make, ah, uh, just bevel this one. Oops, I forgot to apply the scale, so I can bevel it now. This one, I would like to copy this one, but I'm going to make it smaller on Z axis, like that, and then I'm going to make it uh, super thin. So after this, I'm going to add some bunch of uh, lines actually. So what I'm going to do, you, you cannot add a support loops, right? But if you just try to join this, well, I usually use dice using hard ops, but I'm gonna, I'm not gonna show you for, uh, for now. I'm gonna show you for the vanilla blender. So join these two, and then you can try to add to what looks like this. So you can add like that now, and you can make it just like that, not not much, and put one maybe here or maybe no. Because those support, uh, th those support loop is gonna add some lines for the wireframe. Look at that, and don't forget to apply scale. And go to here. It's gonna like look real damn good, you know. And as well, I guess I'm gonna add more cubes. And here, and but I want to make it small. I don't know, uh, making it a bit, I don't forget to apply scale, and I'm going to support loops here, support loops there, and I'm going to add a wireframe, and I guess, yeah, some kind of guard for the, for the thing, you know, this one I'm going to maybe bevel, it look good. I don't know. I'm not sure. You can make change like whenever you like. Don't forget that. For this one as well, I'm gonna duplicate it and make it bigger like that, I guess. And don't forget to apply scale and turn off the bevel. And so after this, uh, also turn off that thing and add a wireframe. And I mean turn off the solidify. Just delete that solidify thingy. As well for this one, I duplicate it and shift X. Yeah, don't forget to apply scale, delete everything, modify every modifier there, and then add that coolness. So once you add that coolness, it's gonna look crazy damn good. I'm actually gonna duplicate it and making it like that. Yep. Maybe like this. Yep. Uh huh. And I'm gonna try to put some. Ah, no need to array. That's taking too long. That's that's fine, right? That's fine. So after this, I would like to add some wireframe for the base here. So just duplicate that and Shift Z. Make it a bit bigger and add a wireframe. But there's gonna be like nothing, just gonna be like one line like this. Don't forget to apply scale. Just because there's no line, right? So I think I would like to only put. Um,
Okay, sorry. So I think I would like to just put a couple loops here, but you can, you guys could see there. You when you add Control R, you cannot. Um, it's not. It's not square. It's not full square. It's just because on top of here I add a bevel, so you can try to join these two, and join these two, and then, yep, and then add a couple. Yeah, like that. There you go. And what I would like to do just duplicate this again and just make this one smaller and control scale and maybe and then I go to edit mode and maybe here and maybe up here. So it's gonna be like extra more to it on some sides there. And for these cables, um, okay, I'm gonna show you how it would be. It would be like really crazy. Add a path here. I'm gonna go to edit mode and yeah, like that. Just make it smaller. Rotate one Y, make it like that. So you grab it and control C like that and grab it control C like that and duplicate it oops no control, control Z duplicate it and maybe here and then oh uh, uh, oops sorry I'm just gonna like go to edit mode and select all and duplicate it while edit while on edit mode. So I'm just gonna edit from this sides. And then from here I'm only just gonna like mirror it maybe on Y. And go to edit mode and put it here. And then Control J, more, <laughs> more same thing. I just really like duplicating things. Like yeah, just making it like that, I guess. And this one I would like just to make an inset and I forgot to apply scale I think, oh I did, inset and inset again but hold control so it's gonna be like um, make some kind of chamfer like pretty damn quick. So after this, I guess I would like to duplicate this one and making it thinner, but making it bigger. Making it a bit more thinner. Yeah, maybe we make, like make it two. It would be, it would be good though. So go to edit mode, select all, and duplicate. And I'm gonna uh, fast forward with texturing because you guys already know right uh, how it works. So.
And for uh, pipes, you, you guys can download UV squares and then you click N on this UV editor uh, tab and then you can just use select all everything here and two grid by shape. So you can just straight make a, a line like that to like normalize everything. By the way, uh, I'm not gonna like go full finish this one. I mean, you guys, uh, I'm pretty sure you guys can already make this like pretty quick, right? You guys get the hang of it. Just just try to do like these things like many times. Just try to make a uh, copy this one and as well try to maybe you want to try to make it like this and try to make a lot of them. So once you have like a lot of assets for this, when you're trying to make environments, you literally just gonna copy them. I guess I'm just gonna select all. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna select all. I can organize because I usually just uh, make the the shape. It's gonna be like the base and the cables is gonna have their own collections. But this one, I guess I'm just gonna go straight and show you guys how I usually do it. Um, show. <laughs> Um, let's say absolute ones. Absolute one. So I'm just gonna turn that off, and I'm gonna sorry default cube. You watch me a lot, so let's try. I want to make this one clean just for people's watching, so they're gonna understand what I'm trying to do here. So I'm gonna make a lot of a lot of these things right. And first thing, I'm mean, just gonna duplicate. This is instance collection. Instance collection is not gonna like cost you extra geometry, but even though if you add like what quite many, it's still gonna lag. So just make it like this maybe. Or make it like this. Isn't that just already like looking good though? Um, if I just go to render mode and turn off this thing, right? If you render this on cycles, it would be really amazing. I mean, you would even notice if the texture is pretty bad when you when you just far uh, when you just like from afar. And as well, I forgot to like use this. Um, Use this thing absolute uh, when you're making when I'm making um environments I usually put these things high up motion blur as well well it's not gonna affect for this one I'm, I'm just letting you know what I usually did so look at that having a lot like too many lights it would be really amazing and also if you you can make <laughs> spaceships Literally, you can make spaceships which is from here. For example, um, I'm gonna copy here Z um, like that, and then maybe duplicate on Z 90, and maybe put it here, put it here. Right. That's already looking even more good if you just put it somewhere. But if you want to know something, I'm um, duplicate these things, right? Uh, duplicate this one as well. 180. It's gonna be like so looking pretty complicated. If you just literally copy more of it. And you literally, if you copy this one again. <laughs> like let's see like that right and that's already looking pretty awesome isn't it and if you just like trying to do these things and let's see you're gonna copy it's gonna start lagging you, you, you guys can see that it's gonna start lagging because it's way too much you know? but it's already looking good it's really looking pretty good you can make some kind of spaceships or some sort I'm gonna delete that one, I'm gonna delete this one and I'm gonna try to duplicate more of this thing and and just look at that like how amazing that is and if you just trying to get close to it 
it looks incredibly complex and isn't that what you want <laughs> isn't that what you want anyway thank you guys for watching just let me know if anything i could help anything that you guys want to su suggest me to make and i'll try to make it anyway thank you